Hello everyone, welcome back to this old Doom game that we've been playing. If you recall, in the last episode, which I better recall, frankly, since it's been so long, we legged it around there a bit, we found some stuff out of there, and we did the first of this final chapter's levels uh, with the least amount of likelihood of succeeding from anybody we've ever seen. So I think in this situation, our best bet is to try and avoid taking any damage at all. Trying to work out where to go, and then once we've got all that, like having those enemies fighting each other is a good start. Can at least take some of them out. We did manage to pick up full health and a decent amount of armor, but I'm reluctant to use any ammunition I don't have to until we have some idea about where the heck we're going. Um, I mean, we have to go this way, but there's bad guys, so I don't want to go over there. Let's use the noise noise thingy for a while. Uh, sure. I'll at least do some things. Thanks to 42% uh, Gamer, by the way, for pointing out that... Where the heck is my... Why can't I use my... Oh, I don't have a cell launcher. Ah, okay. Uh, for pointing out that... Or informing us, teaching us... Oh, that was terrible. I didn't want to pick that up at all. Uh, that the k k k k cyber demon at the end of the, uh, the main game there actually is invulnerable to the splash damage from rocket launchers and that was done intentionally or so they believe uh, in order to make it feel like the cyber demon was a lot more powerful than it was which is why it gave you basically nothing but rockets to fight it with of course that's not what we did uh, we beat the crap out of it with uh, the, 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 the the, the cell launcher. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, for, thank you, Brain, for finally coming through in the clutch there. I am wondering where we go. There's nothing we can do here. We can probably press this. Ah, it is a switch. Okay. So if we uh, do this right, we should be able to make a small profit on the number of shells we have left. But I'm worried about the noises I'm hearing. There's our plasma gun there. There's a thing down there. I'm very glad that you, that was extraordinary. I mean, it's expected of a, an old engine being rendered in a modern way that this sort of thing happens. But uh, not gonna let me. Let me up. No. I, I heard that. And then I go where? In that gap? A bit reluctant to, if you don't mind me saying so. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. I mean, I'm glad we took these things out before we came in here, because that close quarters fight would not have been fun. Uh, and then we can go back, I think, and get the cell shooter, the plasma gun. Yeah, I mean, probably could have just run over there. I suspect not, though. Oh, crap. That was a terrible idea. Whoa, I just headbutted the microphone trying to run out of that situation. And this is why I'm a bit salty that I accidentally picked up the... Um, the, the HP that was up there because I had a feeling <laughs> something was going to go horribly wrong. And of course, wait, I'm sure there were rockets here. Is there only five of them? I had a feeling that we were going to find ourselves in a position where we were going to be grateful to have had that plasma gun in our armory. Our armoire. What's the, uh, the French for armory is, of course, armoire, which means armory. Uh, this is a very bad idea to have fallen off of there. But of course I... Should we just uh, try this again? Now that we know what we're doing, <laughs> let's just go around again. I mutated. I did change the name of my player, by the way. And we've seen that problem before. A bit more armor doesn't hurt. Uh, of course, we're not going to get to keep it for very long. Um, where you end up using your... Uh, you fire once because you use the clicky click to, to reload. So we'll avoid taking this HP, although I have accidentally screwed it all up. If you jump onto one of these, you can't get back off of it again, is the is what I'm learning from now. So probably shouldn't have taken that armor until we had the yellow key. You're not sure. This is a lot easier uh, in 2017 than it was in the late 90s, but still not that easy. So you can imagine that this game was an actual, actual considerable challenge. Back in the good old days of early video game classic 
stuff. That was a lucky final shot there. So we'll press this. We'll shoot this. Shoot this. Do you mind? Now is a fair good, fair good time. Sure, that's English. To take this because I believe it's 25% health. Uh, we really need to start slowing down every now. <laughs> so that wasn't great. There is some HP there though. So we'll press this. And we'll be aware that there's going to be a trap. Which I should have seen come in. Oh crap, you have to wait for that. I understand. That's probably that 30 second thing that... Um, ah, it doesn't seem like 30 seconds, does it? That 42% uh, Gamer was telling us about. There's more HP here actually, I didn't realise. That's actually very useful. I wonder what that would have done. So, we still don't have a key of any flavour. I hope you can't hear my washing machine off in the background there. Yikes. Okay, good. I, I'm leaning forwards, which is exactly where my microphone is, so if you can hear a thud every now and then, it's because games still cause me to lean into them, <laughs> and that's where my microphone hangs from. So you can't actually... Can you get hit? I don't know if I'm damaging you. I will use shells, because then I can at least have some information about them. And I have a lot more of them, and they're less precious, I think, at this stage of the game. Although we're only probably using about half of the shells that we could be using. Like, half of each shell. I think it's probably still a little bit better. Maybe we should have tried to get them from that room. Now I think about it. So I believe there's two here. If it's taken this many shells, yeah, show thyself, Cleo. Continue. This may be a little bit of a boring section, but we have to do this bit tactically because it's going to be very bad for us. So we're going to have to get through the old fashioned. Looks like it's three, actually. So we're going to have to get through this, taking as little damage as possible, which means cheesing this particular section. We should have just enough uh, shots, but. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to run over there and get this out. Let's try this. Great. So if you get into range, that'll be swell. Oh, that's a lava again. This is an, an awkwardly annoying part of the level right now. I'm assuming that does nothing. So we don't want to punch that barrel or anything. It's it's not Isaac, you're not going to get a secret room or something for exploding for that. This is not helping. We really need more ammo. And this this throttling of ammo has really been the uh, the mainstay of these past couple of levels. It has made it extremely difficult, so kudos to them for finding a way to really ramp up the difficulty of this, which has been a little bit... Uh, a little bit missing for the past several um, episodes. We've been getting through them really quick. That's what we'd like to see. It'd be great if the auto aim would stop happening. Because it's, it's sort of aiming ever so slightly left and right. Because I'm a terrible person and use a keyboard to aim my shots, right? So it's, it's trying to be helpful, but it's really not helpful. Let's, um, let's go back to this. Oh, shit. Not what I wanted to do. Let me back up. Whoa. This is extremely difficult. I'm going to hold shift. It doesn't sneak like in Minecraft, unfortunately, so you uh, still end up falling off. There we go. And then we do this and this, and we can fight this guy. No problemo. Provided we get some dancing shots. I guess our best bet is to fire at him when he fires at us. He telegraphs the shots quite nicely, but our shots travel quite slowly. I can see the yellow key, so obviously we had to do all this. Which kind of vindicates me. It's a bit mildly gratifying to know that all this was not entirely useless. Time spent. Okay, we have got... We've taken a lot of damage, but it's not like... Oh, not like we're trying to get a deal with the devil or anything. I'm talking a lot in Isaac terms, because I've been watching a lot of it. But... Uh, right, because... Ah, shut. Um... <laughs> Wow, this hurts. Um, I have been playing The Binding of Isaac in the past uh, on the channel, but I wanted to mention that I'm probably going to be retiring that series in favour of this series and the... Oh my god, my god. Shit. Uh, the 
next Doom series, probably start up some sort of RimWorld series or a similar game where we can have um, a, a story that runs across several episodes. Binding of Isaac is actually very difficult to play. Oh god, I heard that. Yeah, there you are. Okay, I think you have to ignore those basically. Uh, it's very difficult to play while talking, is the main concern here. And this bit would be even worse <laughs> if you were back in the uh, good old days. That one too. Are you, are you just ignoring the fact I'm shooting you? I'm happy for you to ignore the fact I'm shooting you. How many of these red barons are we going to have to deal with right now? Very much running out of suitable ammunition. Grand. Proper grand, like... There is a chainsaw there. Look at that! It's, well, that's the clowniest face I've ever seen, man. It's disgusting. So we want to get this out again. Wail away on this Joker. So he is no longer in my targets. Get rid of him. So the Binding of Isaac series, I'm probably going to retire. I will probably basically relegate it to streams, which you're welcome to join me on. It is twitch.tv slash Mr. Altrius Sir, because Altrius was taken by God knows whom. Someone who calls themselves Altrius, but is wrong for... It's a lie, it's not me. Don't let them fool you. Full armor, but no HP. This is fine. Um, as it's very fun to play on stream, because people try and tell you how bad you are at it. Uh, we should probably start using the chainsaw. But probably not when this thing's already awake and in close combat. You dokey? Please. Good. I didn't want one to come from behind me whilst I was doing that. So that was a little bit risky. Still on 17% health, which means we're doing pretty well on this particular section, and I'm somewhat tempted to save... Save scum it. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, twitch.tv slash Mr. Altrius, sir. Go check that out. Uh, do um, join me on that. Uh, subscribe to it or, you know, whatever you want to do. Just follow the channel to get notifications about when we are streaming. Tend to stream solo. Sometimes Jen and I will stream, but that's where the Binding of Ice is going to be. And we're going to start playing other games in a more story-driven sense the near future. Uh, meanwhile, I'm probably just going to focus on this, try and do as many episodes of this as I can in a week, and don't forget that James is also playing Hollow Knight. I think he's doing one episode a week at weekends, so if you don't have too much time on your hand to follow a, a daily video, which you should do because there are daily videos. Good. I'm glad that <laughs> got out of the way. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, a, we a weekly video at the weekends is exactly what the doctor ordered in most cases. Right, so now we take you out. That was a pretty good shot, considering. Press this button. Wait till you hear the noise. Noise? 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 Did I miss it? I hope I missed it, because I'm going. Nope. Uh, what do I do? Is this a button? Oh. What the heck? I know it's not random. Doom doesn't go in for random. I must have exploded that at some point during all those rockets. Alright, great. Now we have to... We actually have full ammo, which is shocking because... 50 is not nearly enough for what we're about to have to achieve. Uh, right. Do this. We'll probably jump over there, but there's no point risking it. We pick this shit up and leg it. Now we try and stay here. We have five rockets. Maybe we should use them first. Get a bit of splash damage done to these jokers. I don't think they're like the cyber demon and that they are immune to it. And as long as you've got a good shot that's not about to hit the wall next to you, I think uh, rockets are a good play at this point. Right, stop aiming at that joker. Because that joker is not important. Shoot at the thing that's right in front of you. Oh, right in front of you. With three of those coming at you, Cleopatra. It's pretty difficult to dodge. If we die again, I will cut 
to the point where we actually make some progress, but this is just one of those cases of being extremely careful, which is unfortunate because Doom is very much a hack and slash sort of game, at least in my mind. See how these things move out of the way? Pretty, pretty frustrating. I mean, it might be easier just to shotgun them because the shotgun shots do travel instantly. And now they've just gone completely. Don't stand on that. Right, let's go. Uh, we're going to have to go back through this way anyway, so we might as well use our shotgun. I've got my shift key held down now. Might as well use our shotgun and refill the shells from it. Uh, when we have to go back through there. So there you go, we got rid of that one. So there's one more. And then we can go hell for leather with our plasma gun. Which I do remember the name of. And uh, I'm assuming this thing is weakened. Yep. By the... Uh, the, sh the rockets that we fired earlier. Which we don't have any of. So if you want to shoot at me... Then I can at least get a few shots in on you. Now you're walking out of the way. Because these shots do travel slowly. I mean, the bad AI is obviously made for, made up for by the huge amount of HP, whereas if his slow shots hit me, it's uh, worse for me, because I should be able to dodge as a apparently intelligent human being. We should be really be looking for secrets as well, but I don't really want to. So now is a good time to pick up this armor and not fall off. Press this button. Deal with this. Forgot about this. That's the wrong one. I think it's now behind me, which is not where I wanted to be. Genuinely had forgotten that this is going to happen. So, we're just going to have to sort this out as best as we can. Oh, it's almost therapeutic apart from the fact I fell off. I'm guessing you shot you. I'm okay with it. Have not much health left after that fall in the lava there, which wasn't wasn't really a plan, but it was a terrible plan, whether it was or not. So we're going to end up finding ourselves waking up a cyber demon up there. Oh, we didn't. That's interesting. And now we have some opportunity to save ammunition when we get down here. Pick up the... Uh... Oh, great. We've woken this bastard up there. How about you go down there and hurt one of them? Why are you awake? I think, um... In early versions of, in early games like Doom, enemies had no such concept of a, as a patrol. And I'm not sure now I think about it whether they did in Hexen either. I seem to remember they were either alerted to your presence because they heard you when you got there. Uh, some of them were awake when the level spawned, I know that much, because you never hear the, the noises of them or waking up because you've arrived. I mean, occasionally you don't get that. Um, but uh, part of me was wondering if maybe that cacodemon there literally patrolled. You know, tried to... Just, just was wandering around these places and I happened to find it at a point when it was here rather than there. But I don't think that that happens. Uh, now is not a good time to try and use a chainsaw. Now is a good time to use a plasma rifle until this thing is dead. Is it dead? It's dead. Now is a good time to try and use the chainsaw. As long as you're chainsawing these things, which don't tend to be able to hurt you when you are chainsawing them. Uh, and then you use something slightly more sensible against the Cacodemon, which could quite easily shoot you, even though I have previously mentioned that Cacodemon versus Chainsaw is not that great for the Cacodemon. Because it flinches so much, it turns out it still can shoot you from point blank range and hurt like hell. So, definitely want to try not to incite the wrath of those particular things. I'm wondering if maybe there's a line there that enemies cannot cross. Which would go some way to explaining why uh, that Cacodemon was stuck over there. No, that's not true here. So I'm going to keep popping around a corner and trying to get this thing dead without actually putting myself too much in harm's way. He says, getting right in harm's way and suffering for it. That was actually some pretty badass manoeuvres just now. Uh, yeah, don't use your... Don't use your shotgun for these jokers. They don't deserve it, frankly. Pick that up. That's really good. So I'm going to keep using this because there's enough ammunition. I keep saying ammunition like 
I'm trying to make it clear to everybody that I know what ammo is short for. I just like saying it. That's not... That's, that's okay, isn't it? Really tempted to just save straight up here. Strongly suspect you can hear my uh, washing machine right now, but that's okay. We all have domestic life, and it's not up to you to shame me for it. Wouldn't mind a uh, little bit of the, the older BFG action right now. Bada bing! Grand. Really fancy uh, having to deal with this shit either, but okay. Yep, saw that coming. You can imagine these enemies are a lot more difficult when you can't strafe, or at least you're not naturally attuned to strafing, which is going to make them even more difficult than you are already. I wish I'd put the time in to deal with these uh, textures here. Kind of hoping I'd telephone it, but it didn't happen. That's okay. I'm kind of hoping that there'd be some HP as well. There is HP on those steps. In fact, we didn't pick up the one we left there in the first place, so we should feel... Okay with ourselves about that. So now we get to the point where basically we have to ignore two cyber demons. Just go for broke on the exit. At least we're feeling good about being. I mean, 103 cells is not going to cut it, I think. So how do we do this? Pick up all of this shit. And we bail. That was good. Good bail. Try and deal with these. Worry not too much about the uh, option of falling into the lava because we are somewhat protected by this radiation suit. Yep. And just deal with these cacodemons as, as they arrive, really. Wouldn't mind some more shells, which there are some over here, so we can at least get them. But I uh, want a better way of dealing with these cacodemons. I've actually got 40 ammo all of a sudden, so there was more there than I thought there were. Oh, don't walk in. Don't. Look. It's actually an um, interesting piece of game design that the corpses of the cacodemon are so large that you can't see through them. But you'd... I mean, it's an arcadey thing, so you'd, you're not too salty about the fact that if you can't... Like, a, you shouldn't be able to walk through a corpse, right? Which means you should be able to shoot through this corpse. Somewhat wondering whether it's worth trying to get back there. Notice how things have gone slightly odd and, and, and delirious again from uh, just being in a hellish environment, I guess. Literally no idea how many this is going to take. Well, it's all of them. There are more. You can do this. This should be actually fairly easy. Now that we know as grown ups how to strafe. <laughs> Do that. I'm tempted to try and kill it. We have got five rockets left. It might be enough. But I don't think the radiation suit protects you from rocket explosions. It might do, actually. Come on now, don't make me chainsaw you. Use this. 300 ammo is a fair amount of ammo. Okay. I wonder if the majority of the rocket's damage is actually the splash damage, and therefore the rocket itself doesn't do that much. There is a BFG in there, so I'm kind of glad we did that. But I have no idea how to uh, deal with it. That says exit, so I'm wondering whether we save it here just in case that is the exit. Uh, I suspect it might be just a door. No, that's the exit. So, I'm going to load that up. Because it did say exit. I mean, that was just a test, really. Uh, ooh. Okay. Oops. There's a teleporter here that we haven't used yet. Which is probably extremely dangerous. So, we're here now. And then that goes down there. And that loads something else. Ah, I see you. Oh, poop. It would be cheap to reload this. I'm still tempted to because I've taken so much damage just because I'm being all, you know, silly modern man. Ooh, a secret exit. So we're not going to be able to get the 
Like, I can see there's a teleporter up there and everything, but I don't want to... I don't know how to find it. There's one teleporter there, one teleporter there. That's a door. I don't know how to get into that. It doesn't seem to want to come down, so I'm just going to use this. This looks like a uh, secret exit and a good time to end the episode. Thank you for watching me do all my silly dyings. Uh, yeah, 66% secret implies that that one up in the corner is one more. Uh, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Uh, I hope you're not too sad about the Isaac series being gone, but I hope that you're excited about James playing Hollow Knight and about the next episode for this. So until then, I'll see you.